We have a record of being very scientific on this channel. So we are going to test the hardness of these metals and see how quickly the water jet cuts them. And most people would test hardness any other way but by using a water jet, but we're not other people. So I have a rod of some of the hardest metal, tungsten. Hardest material video in the past with quartz and obsidian and some other materials to test how hard they were, but now we want to do it with metals because... Because we do. All right, so I give you one assignment and you can't even get the brass circle the same size as the other ones. Hey, that's close. Like, all we do is cut circles here. So we've got Al, T.I., the artist from 2008, high school and multiple sclerosis. Who put, what? We got brass, aluminum, titanium, AR500 steel, which is harder than mild steel. Okay, we got aluminum coming in at a solid 8.69. Nice. Titanium at 4.15. Brass at a, oh, that's half hard. How hard are we? Um. Oh, full hard. 4.37. And we got mild steel. Steel hardened. Uh, oil hardened. And then. Ooh, and Molly B. Denim. Molly B. Denim. And, and tungsten. Tungsten. But do we have PCD? I don't know. What's that? Polycrystalline diamonds. Whoa. So it's on the aluminum setting at 100% speed. So it'll be kind of a bad cut, but it'll cut through the aluminum. And then we'll see what it does to the brass and the other metals and see how deep it cuts. Yep. Well, uh, Mitchell goofed and accidentally had it on the granite setting. Oh dear. <laughs> so we're gonna redo it on the aluminum setting and then we'll compare and contrast. So they both mostly cut through, but that's kind of what happens when you're moving that fast, as it kind of skips over at the end. Can you break it? Would I? I don't know. Oh. So that is the cut quality on 100% cut speed. Not great. So you can see on the other setting was more like a brass the first time, so it mostly cut through that too. But should we compare the other cut quality? Better looky? Ah, yes. So if you want your aluminum quality to be good, set it to granite. Or to set it at a slower speed. Oh, you titanium. Can see your titanium cuts there. We're mostly cut through on that first one, but not on the second one. For mild steel, you can see the two different depths at those different speeds. And we'll compare with our high speed steel. Pretty similar, maybe a little sh more shallow. We're up to your regular scheduled broadcast for how thick can this cut? We wanted to do 10 inches, but how long did it say it took? Um, it said it would what, take like two and a half hours just to pierce it. It's gonna be 156 minutes, which is only two and a half hours. Oh, that's great. We now go back to not doing this. <laughs> so six inches says it'll take 15 minutes. So we're gonna do that. How long did it take to cut the anvil the first time? Uh, it took like 45 minutes, but we didn't pierce it. So this is a whole yeah. straight through. Fun? Yeah. He broke my water jet. <laughs> it like barely made a nick in it. And then I just held it in one spot for like a few minutes and made a mess and pierced a hole in the water jet probably. And it just like made a teeny little dent. Well, so you, you know what they say about tungsten. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Yep. So we had it in order of machinability, but if we want it in order of hardness, we gotta switch these two 
titanium and mild steel. Aluminum is about 2.5, brass is about three, mild steel is four and a half to five, titanium is six, hardened steel is seven to eight. Yep, sure. Yep. Confirmed. You got all those memorized. Yep. And tungsten is nine, and that's why even you can do Tungsten's that. Tungsten's a nice nine. You want to confirm if that's tungsten or not? It's, it's tungsten. Mm. It's definitely not molybdenum. Sorry, molybdenum. Molybdenum. Should we do a sparky test now? Quick spark test. The spark! And the rotary girders! Aluminum! No spark! Nice and brass! No spark! Next is mild steel. Those are sparks. Titanium. <laughs> That's bright. Tungsten time. That concludes our sparking test. And that concludes the life of this sanding valve. <laughs> hey guys, today we're gonna be comparing some common metals. I thought I <laughs>